Okay, welcome everyone as we learn the Mishnah Yaimis for this uh, beautiful uh, Monday evening as we are in the fifth parak of Nidarim and we are starting uh, Mishnah. Uh, let me just see. Um, We're up to uh, Mishnah Gimel and Mishnah Dalit. Mishnah Gimel and Mishnah Dalit in the fifth parak of Nedarim, sponsored Lili Nishmas Elchanim Bunim Ben Naftali Benish and Elimelech Ben Eliezer and Hashem should have an Aliyah for Shleimah for Eliyah Moshe Ben Chayisar for the Schus of Rav Ram Yom Benish Ben Malki Yehudas and we learn also sponsored by the Fisher family. Lili Nishmas Basi Bas Rabbit Shlomo Ben Avram Alevi Peril Bas Ruvain by uh, Dr. Yo Klugman and family and Lefush Lema for Mayor Ben Chaya Sara as we learn again the third and the fourth Mishnayis in the fifth parak of Nidarim. Hamudran Hanome Chaveroi, if let's say uh, I say that Marshall cannot benefit from me. I have a bathhouse or an olive press that's rented to Aaron Swate. And now, Barry, uh, Marshall wants to know if he could use the bathhouse, if he could use the olive press. If I kept the shear of the uh, olive press and the bathhouse for myself, I kept, let's say, one of the pools, I kept one of the presses, then also, then Marshall can't use it, because then when he uses it, he's benefiting from my property. But if I gave it all over to Berish, I didn't keep a percentage of it for myself, then Mutter, then Marshall could use it. If I say to Chatzkel, I say to Chatzkel, I vow that I won't enter your house. Or I won't buy your field. Mace, if Chatzkel dies, or he sells it to Mel, Mutter, then I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to enter the house, I'm allowed to buy the field. Because I said, if he dies, or he sells it to someone else, so then I could buy it, I can enter it. But if I say, if I say that I vow that I won't, uh, enter this house, not your house, but this house, or or this field uh, I won't buy, even if Chatzkel dies or sells it to someone else, I put the Isser on the house, I put the Isser on the field, regardless of who owns it, therefore Usser, I'm Usser. If it's, I say to Marshall, I am on to you, Cherem. Now we said, Stam Nedarim Lahachmer, so it means Cherem of Bedek Abayis, which is a uh, acceptable way of making a nether. If I say, Areni Olecha Cherem, I am on to you, Marshal Cherem, Hamudur Aser. That means Marshal can't benefit to, from me. Hari At Olai Cherem, if uh, I say to Marshal, you are to me, Cherem, then I'm not allowed to benefit from him. Then I know the Rasa, then I'm not allowed to benefit from him. Hareni Olechov Atolai, if I say that I am upon you and you are upon me, then neither of us could benefit from one another. Shneim Asum, we're both forbidden to benefit from one another. Ushneim Utarm Bedavishal Oile Bavam. Both of us are allowed to use that which was awarded to all the pilgrims coming up from Bavel. Because that's not owned by each person individually but rather it's considered public property, like the Harabayas. So both of us could go on the Harabayas, and it's not that he's going on to something that I owe a portion of, own a portion of, or I'm going on something that he owns a portion of. However, asurim bedavishal oisoir, but they're forbidden something that belongs to the city. In other words, let's say the city jointly owns a shul, 
then we wouldn't be able to go in the shul because when it's owned by all the members of the city. So when I go in, I'm enjoying something that Marshall owns a part of. And when Marshall goes in, he's enjoying something that I own a part of. And since we're not allowed to benefit from one another, we wouldn't be allowed to go into the shul as the Mishnah will de- detail what these things are in the next Mishnah tomorrow night. Thank you very much for joining us, everyone, and have a wonderful evening.